Dave Hunt's cooking show. Hope you guys all well. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, what to do cold beef ash video, guys. So it's been a long time. I can't remember what I was going to cook, but I'll go in front of the books. I got a book, so I'm master about around what I'm going to cook in there. So this is going to be the chicken, the chicken curry. And sort of straight after as well, probably the day after, I might put out at the same time as well. Is the egg fried rice video as well, I'm gonna do for you guys. That is nice, it's what's, what's in the queue in the book yet, which someone's asked me to cook. Uh, Christmas is coming up, so you can have the Christmas stuff going up there as well. Uh, I've got a plan on what I'm gonna be cooking, and I'll let you know, guys, at the end. Let's get started. Cool, so the greenies you guys are gonna need. What I'm going to do for you guys is chicken curry, guys. English version and the way I do it, guys. Salt today, guys. Yeah, it's white onion, guys. It's not very healthy, but I don't know what it is now. Depends on how many you guys are cooking with. Three chicken bits, breasts. You can't get the bigger ones for all. For a uh, finger, we should feed six. This should only feed about four as well, guys. So you feed for more, Let's extend double the breast, and it should feed six to eight people, guys. Okay, and it also depends how you cut it as well. You can get the bag of chicken where it's already diced, that's good as well to you guys use as well. You can get that already cut up for you and just whack it in, it's quick and easy for you guys are in a rush. So what I like using is butter chicken, ketchup karma sauce as well. It tastes so but my wife loves this sauce when I cook it and use it with this one, it's nice and tasty. Good sauce to use, so most of the time I use the chicken kakari sauce. My wife likes this, so I'm going to use this as well. And it's a medium heat, guys. A mold, so mild heat. Let's call it now. Mold, you got mold, medium, hot. And then you got obviously very hot and stuff like that. When you start getting into your uh, vindaloos and stuff like that as well, guys. So, yeah, this is a medium heat curry. Just spice it up a little bit because I like the spice. And my son's not going to be having his curry. So it's going to be me and the wife. Because he wants, uh, what do you want now? Chicken nugget something, chicken nugget chips, I think he wants. It's Friday, it's straight as well. Don't try to do just get a takeaway, easier. But, because of class of living and stuff like that, you can't really afford takeaways anymore. But, so yes, I've got curry powder as well. You can put chili in if you guys want. And that will spice it up even more if you guys like it spicy. But a korma should just be a mould dish. It's just a tiny bit of spice in the dish, guys. Okay, it's for people who don't like that much spice. That's what a korma is. So, guys, let's get started. So, the only thing we've got is going to prep. I got you, I forgot something. I'll show you guys. I thought I'll show you because you just show it through the video. Sorry, I was going to do it. I was going to go last show you spoilers, but I thought I'll do it with you guys now so you guys got a sort of a grab of what it is. I put a bit of, so I've been close for you, a bit of garlic. I use this because it's cheap, saves a bit of time, blends it right down the way I like it. I'm going to put a bit of ginger in. Sorry, hold that up a little bit longer for you guys. Sorry. No one's up with me today. There we go. And I put a tiny bit of ground nutmeg in. It comes out beautiful, guys. So, the only thing, guys, this prep is the chicken and the onion. So the first thing we're going to start off with is the only way to get that out of the way, guys. And I'll see you when I've got the oven. Don't forget, go wash your hands, guys. I've got rid of the young crowd, but look. 
just need to finish trimming it off because I ran out of battery in my uh, thing yesterday. Just need to trim my right there a bit. Look, it's looking all right. Catch you a bit, guys. Okay, guys, so I've got the onion here. Let's go snow forward. So I like it thin. So chop it down. So I'm going to whack this in. I can do it. There we go. Peel the skin off, guys. You guys haven't got any say herbs, as you guys will call them, as they're called, guys. Don't worry, you can do it without herbs. If you got a bit of garlic, just whack a bit of garlic in, guys. And it's absolutely fine. Just going to go through this guys, this while I keep doing it and cutting it guys with you guys is because the new got people and stuff like that, some people actually do feel more comfortable going through with me as well, so it's for them people as well. If you guys already know, just fast forward a tiny bit guys. So all I'm going to do is cut down. Just cut down, if you like it fit guys, just cut there, cut there, slice them ends off, go. I like them. Nice and thin. Just like that. Quick and easy guys, that's it. If you like, if one bit your oh, arm slow and stuff like that, do not worry guys. Everyone starts off slow. So I like more lovely and thin. Just like that, guys. Well, sometimes you can feel uncomfortable. Uncomfortable cooking guys, it's scary for some people as well. Don't worry about it guys. Absolutely. You'll get comfortable as you go along, go at your speed, okay? Right, next one we're gonna do is the chicken. So I'm gonna take it off. So, okay, before you guys use it, make sure you go wash your chicken first. Now, okay, my chicken's back, guys. I've washed my chicken, I hope you guys have as well. A nice wash. So, I'm going to do is spread that out, cut the fat off, I'll give it to my wolf. I don't want the fat. You can have the fat, guys. You can use the fat if you guys want. It's totally up to you. Right, let's put that out of the way. We're fine. Okay, so the way you cut this breast, it's all sliced down. Just like that. And then all sliced down again. And all we do is cut it in little cubes. And then I'll just cut down. Get back to the right side. You want your cubes? I like it off small for the chicken. Just get the tires. Move it out of the way. Then whack it back in its little tub. Then I can't find the bowl. Probably washed up, guys. Take the fat off. Then same again. With the other chicken, just be careful when you're using a knife, guys. Make sure the knife's nice and sharp before you start cutting with it, guys. Just 
when you wash it dry, just feel around. Just make sure there's no bones left in the chicken. I've just felt one there. Just cut it off. Okay. If you guys cut it that way, it's perfectly fine. Just be careful as you do it. If you like it thick like that, just slice down because the meat will stick down, guys. There's another good way of cutting it. No wrong or right way to do it. As long as it all ends up in cube size. Okay? So. All we need to do now. Go. Mine's are all washed. Ready to go for the ch chicken. Give it to all Jones. Stuff that you touch your food, pans and all that sort of stuff. I'm going to do mine in the slow cooker. That's where I'm going to cook mine, guys. So, next thing you guys need to do. Let's bear with us. Uh, this cost of living are going up guys, I use lard. So it's lard guys, I can't see that. There you go, sorry with it. Lard, these are about, can pick them up for like 29p in the shops guys, it acts like oil. Uh, it's just fat, cooking, yes a little bit more. Finger. If if I don't, the way I used to cook it was with a little bit of olive oil. Obviously, prices are going up through the roof. So I'm down to this guys, which is cheap, and cook it the same way as well. Anyway, cool. So, finish all our preps. Let's get rid of the uh, chopping board. Just gonna cut off a bit of this and whack it in my pan, my frying pan guys. All you want is that much in your pan. Whack it in your pan guys. Leave it for three minutes to warm up, it nice and hot. Then what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna start cooking the chicken. Okay guys, so I've got the crew pan ready, I've got a teaspoon ready to put it on, sprinkle it on. So sure you've got that as well, that's going to be nice and hot guys. So, all we have like it in. Get some normal size. Grab my spatula. Because we have to keep turning it guys. Whack it in. This is the size you guys are looking for. You're going to sprinkle it around. Just like so. You can season the chicken before you put it in, guys. So you guys feel comfortable doing that way. You guys are waxed in already as you're going along. That's absolutely fine. You're going to season it in a minute. All I'm going to use is curry powder on the chicken this time. You should have sprinkle a bit of garlic on top. But you can do that if you want as well guys. Teaspoon, sprinkle it on, sprinkle it on, guys. That should be enough and quickly before it starts burning. And move it around. Oh, a little bit off. And all we're looking to go, you can see how it's going this white colour, guys. That's the way we want all the chicken to look, okay. The smell, a nice curry smell coming off it now. You see, it's 
say I so nice colour to the chicken. So this should take three to five minutes, say so five to ten minutes to cut brown it all off, to get it nice and white before so it's cooked, depends on your cooker. Well, all I'm going to do is set this over. Now, I'm going to put this in the slow cooker. So I've still got all the taste in there of the curry paste. So I'm going to leave that for a minute just to warm back up. Guys, that's getting lovely hot now, guys. So all I'm going to do is wrap the onions in. That's all we're doing is put them back up to the heat. Took it off for a bit. Just going to break the onions up. All we're doing is softening the onions up. So I get words out. Softening the onions up. And we're getting that taste from the bottom of the pan. Just like so. And this should take about three minutes to soften them up, guys. Three to five minutes just to soften them up. Get the taste all around the onions, what's left of it. So that is got all the taste. That's been about three minutes for me, so I'm happy with that. So I'm going to take that off the heat. Oop. Then guys, as you guys can see, I've got my slow cooker here. So I've got the onions in. And usually I do show you when I put the chicken in, but I did forget to move it from where it was. And I've got such a small kitchen, guys. I struggle with space. So over there, I've got covers above it, so I can't get the camera at the right angle to show you guys. So all I do is mix in the onion. The onions. Well, all I'm going to get is my sauce now. So I'm going to wet that onto a low heat to cook. Open it up. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. I'm going to wet that in. Wet that in, guys. There's my spatula, there is my spatula. So I'm going to stir that in, guys. So it sticks to all of the chicken. Oh, there we go. So what I'm going to do, guys, is we get a bit of water filled up to there. Oh, sorry, guys. A bit of water filled up to there, guys, to get all the juice out to the pan, so we go to the tap. Oh. As you can see, I've got the water in there. Look at the smell for you guys. So up to the where I said it was, guys. Just grab the lid, give it a good shake. So all we do is get all the juice off. If you guys want it thick, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. It gets too runny. There we go. Give that a swirl round. So with this guys you can add like peas, uh, you can add mushrooms, sweet corn, you can even have potato in there as well guys if you guys wanted. Some people add potato in, I might actually go put some potato in, I don't know yet guys. So, so all I'm going to do now guys, is I'm going to let that cook now for about half an hour to 45 minutes and then I'm going to come back, I'll go forget, come back every 10 to 15 minutes, just give it a quick stir, every 50, 20 minutes to 15 minutes, just come back, give it a good stir, put it back on, leave it to cook. Okay guys, same if you do it in a pan. 
every 10 minutes guys when so time after Christmas I want to go through it with a pan with you I had to cut it in a pan if you guys prefer to go to uh, cook it in a pan guys I'm going to do that with you as well but as you know cost of living well it's probably cheap to do it in electric I don't know you know gas I think it's cheaper than electric now so yeah Back in here, for two hours it's going to set to cook and it'll come out lovely guys. And I'll talk out what you can dish it up with with this. You can either put it on your chips, your jackets, boiled rice, egg fried rice, and sort of different rices, what you guys like, okay? So I'm going to put the lid on and come back in. 40 minutes to 45 minutes, well, to half an hour to 45 minutes, good size. So, I might need 45 minutes, just give it a good cook, good taste in there, guys. And I'll show you guys it was thin, it was thin. I'll tell you guys how to thicken it up, guys. We can just thicken it up. Here's your right choose what I've got in the cupboard. Okay, cool, guys. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, so hope you guys have been going back to stirring. So we're we'll give this a stir now. It's lovely and thick. Okay guys, so it's nice and well you put too much water in, you can put yogurt in or cream or um, something called flour. You can also put flour in as well guys. Just to thicken the sauce up a tiny bit. That's how you guys like it. I was gonna put the tag on but no, so now it's time to put in the herbs. So, I'm going to get the garlic, I'm going to sprinkle it in. I'm using the wrong side, guys. Just like so, just give it a stir. We'll grab some ginger. Don't worry guys, if you guys haven't got it, you can cook it about herbs. A few taps in there, not too much guys. Just to boost the taste up a bit. Oh, where's my... Got that one. Sorry guys. Do, 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 do. We have to show a teaspoon. So next one is our nutmeg. So all you're gonna do is just half a teaspoon just like that, whack it on. Don't want too much of that guys. Just stir it in. Well cook lovely. Next, we're going to add a little bit more, two tablespoons of that, so two big lumps. So I'll put it just to bring up the spice. I forget we've already put it on the uh, you can add chili with it if you want, guys. If you guys haven't got curry powder. There we go, it starts to put a lot of curry. Okay, so that's got about an hour and 15 minutes left to cook on. And I'll leave you guys straight there. So come back in an hour and 15, now let's come back and stir it every 15 minutes. We put the herbs in, come back in so about half an hour, give it a taste. See if you want a little bit more spicy, so just let us all the see and cook. So come back in half an hour, give it a good taste and see if you guys want a little bit more spicy guys. Don't forget, tasting is important guys. Hello guys, sorry about my glasses. Just put this work on a laptop while I've been waiting for this. So we give this a start, it's time to taste it. And this is done as well. And it smells lovely guys. That actually does smell gorgeous. So you get the smell coming round your house as well. Make everyone outside hungry. 
Just what my neighbour does. So, we grab a spoon. Just gonna grab the sauce. Let's give it a blow, guys, because it will be hot. Make sure you don't get it on your top. Very nice. Give it a little taste somewhere else. I always go somewhere else with it. And she just get that sort of little taste. Don't get the cooking somewhere he doesn't like spice, okay? So you just get that little bit of spice as well. What I'm going to do is so I'm going to put two extra spoons of curry powder in because I won't allow to buy the hot one. I just get the mild one because of the wine. I see that like her food spicy, too spicy. So because I'll, well, try and enjoy it. But I love spicy food, guys. The wrong spicy food. It's gonna cook some more. That's gonna take half an hour to cook, guys. And I'm gonna show you guys this stuff. So I thought we'll look at you guys here now. We're gonna talk about so what you could have it with. So you could have it on your jack potatoes. You could have it on chips. If you guys want chips. You guys can have it on just boiled rice, egg fried rice. I'm going to put this video up, up uh, the egg fried rice video up at the same time. I'm going to put the curry up. I've made that decision. So, if you got the so you guys got that, if you want to do egg fried rice with it, you guys can. Just come off here, go on to our profile, and just look for the egg fried rice. Should be next to the chicken curry bun, guys. That's what it should be. Subscribe, guys, if you guys can. If you guys haven't already. Hope you guys are loving our videos. Yeah. So, we can have with um, pompadams for the sides. For the sides, you can have pompadam, garlic bread. <sighs> what do you call that bread now? Naan. Naan bread. You know, we can see we have normal bread. If you want to go with bread and butter, you know, just to mop it up. That's just how I wrap up the sauce and eat in there. <laughs> cool guys, so half an hour left to cook on this guys. And I'll catch you guys in a bit and you get to see what it looks like. Okay guys, yeah, that is the curry done. I've turned it off off the slow heater guys. Don't forget you know take an hour or hour off on to, on the hubs guys. Pins on your cooker. If you use electric or gas. Gas is usually quicker cooking. That's an old fashioned way of cooking as well, guys. Sort of on the same note. Yeah, so I'm going to show you guys now. So I don't forget. Oh, that's the curry there. All dished up, guys. With the curry outside, excuse me. So I've done it with egg fried rice. And that video is on our thing as well. So if you guys want to do egg fried rice, go and learn how to do it guys. And it's on there if you guys don't know how to do it and it'll go step by step with you guys as well. It'll only take you about 20 minutes to do it. To cook this guys. Lovely and Just turn you guys back around. Yeah, so that is your curry done. Hope it tastes very nice. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me. I hope I chatted too much to bore you. But the cat's moaning there. Don't know what for. Probably food. Lord's moaning for food. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget the only sides you can have it with is garlic bread, pompadons. What else is it, love? Naan bread. Naan bread. Oh, let's get better than naan bread. And meat sauce. And garlic meat sauce. Garlic meat sauce, whatever. Because she's ruining my meals now. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe. It'll help out us quite a lot. If you guys know anyone who needs to learn how to cook or want to learn how to cook, please go to our video, my videos and I'll teach up there. I'm going through your lists at the moment. You guys are 
in a book what you guys have requested if you guys have messaged us or what you guys want to learn how to cook i've put that into uh the book so i know where sort of i am what i'm doing next week and try to fit them in guys and i've got a diary of now now as well to write in what i'll be cooking on what day uh don't think there's anything else needs to be updated this don't know uh you can let me know that i'm going to be doing a short video soon uh showing our facebook page and everything yes we have got facebook page as well so then he's going to do a video on that uh all of my recipes are on our website i apologize the way it is you have to scroll down to find out what you want i haven't cleared how to put on the top yet to click on what you want and then it takes you to that recipe i haven't worked that one out yet so i've got to figure try, i'm trying to figure out how to do it but it's going to take time guys it does take time to get everything up there guys so hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like the video it helps out quite a lot guys get our views up if you guys can share it around to get our views up there get everyone to learn how to cook i'm going to put chip meals up there that be sometime after christmas i'm going to start doing that because i've got christmas stuff i've been wanting to learn that to do so i'm going to try and fit it in as much as i can in december for christmas hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to stay ghosting.